Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of our Livewire 3 course on YouTube. So in this video series, we're going to be covering all the basics that you need to know to start building your own Livewire components. So for those of you guys that don't know uh, what is Live Livewire, Livewire is a Laravel package that allows us to build uh, interactive or dynamic front-end components or UIs using just PHP and without writing any JavaScript. And what I mean by an interactive component, I mean basically something like the search bar where you can just type in what you're looking for and uh, the search will be happening without any page reloads, right? So if you want to do this using PHP or Laravel, you're going to have to basically submit a form request and then reload the page. While with JavaScript, you can kind of skip that step and have a much smoother user experience, right? And normally doing something like this would require you to either use uh, JavaScript, maybe use the fetch, maybe use jQuery. That's what was very popular in the good old days. And now, for example, you use something like Vue or React, right? However, what Livewire does is it makes it very easy and very quick, especially on the time side, to build something like this. So for simple components, building a search bar, they have more examples on the website, which I like building forms, submitting a form, doing validation, building interactive tables or file uploads. Livewire makes it very easy and very quick to build those. So you don't need to go and add unnecessary complexity to your application by using something like Vue.js when you only need, for example, a simple form, right? It doesn't really make sense to add Vue.js when you're only going to be using it for one or two simple components. So that's the main benefit of using Livewire. And again, it's also very quick and easy to build your components. It's also easier to hire new people on your team. If they know PHP and Laravel, then you, they can build interactive components. So I don't want to bore you guys to death. Let's get started building our first component. So let's go on the documentation. Uh, I'll have the link in the description. The domain is livewire.laravel.com. Make sure it's the new dark themed one. There is another one for Livewire 2. So don't get confused with that one. Uh, go on the quick start, scroll down, make sure you have a Laravel 10 or above, not Laravel 9 or above project, and then PHP 8.1, which basically I think everyone nowadays should. Uh, and I think everything should still stay the same even with, when Laravel 11 comes out, but if there are any changes, I will make a video about it. So let's go ahead, copy this uh, composer require live wire live wire command. I'm just going to go do that. And here I have a fresh Laravel 10 project. I just made this like five minutes ago before starting recording. And this is basically what I have. You can see it's the boilerplate Laravel 10 project, super simple stuff. And I'm on Laravel 10.16 as of now. Okay. And I have PHP 8.2. So I'm just going to paste this in on my terminal. It's going to go ahead and install Livewire for you. Now, the way Livewire works, everything is done using components. So for example, this search bar that you have here, it's a component, okay? If you want a table, it's going to be a separate component. So everything is done through components. So to create our first component, what we can do is type in PHP artisan. And there are two ways of doing this. You can use, you do live wire make and then type in your component name. Let's say uh, I want to create a clicker or uh, you can do it the other way around and do make uh, live wire, okay? Both of them are okay. You can use whichever you like. I'm personally used to live wire make. So that's going to be what I'm going to be using throughout the course. So type that in. You can name your component, whatever you like. For this episode, we're not going to be building anything complex, just a simple component to get started. Hit enter. And by default, uh, live wire will create two files for us. It's going to create a PHP file under app live wire. And this is it. If you have used live wire two, this folder used to be inside the HTTP folder. It's no longer there. So this is going to be our uh, PHP file and it's a very simple file and it's extending the component class from the live wire namespace. Okay. So, and it comes with a render function and as the name suggests, its job is to display our HTML, right? So, and it's going to extend or it's going to display a view file. It's a blade file. And that blade file is inside our views folder, live wire. It's going to have the exact same name clicker.blade php and there's nothing special about this file it's just a simple blade file okay so live wire uh, front ends are basically simple blade files so let's go ahead and i'm just going to type in uh, hello youtube i'm going to save that in 
So let's go and see how we can actually display our first component. Because if I go back to our website, uh, we're not able to see our component. So to display a component, uh, there are actually a few ways, two ways of doing it. But for now, I'll show you guys the easy way. I'll remove whatever we have here. I'll also remove the tailwind stuff. So to display your component, you can just use the blade directive called LiveWire, just like that, and then pass in your component name. In our case, it's called Clicker. And if we go and we take a look, we can see, hello YouTube, I'll zoom in a little bit more. So that's the first way you just type in at LiveWire. There is another way and you can do a bigger than sign and then type in LiveWire colon and then your component name, right? So for us, it's Clicker, okay? Just like that. And then you can close this in, okay? So there are two ways, it's up to you, whichever you wanna use, both of them are gonna work just fine. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stick to the first one for now. And I'm going to save our page. So that's it. So usually when you're interacting with a component, even if you have a basic application, there are going to be two types of interactions you have. Uh, you're going to be clicking on buttons. That's one. So you want to send an Ajax request for buttons, or you're going to be interacting with some four element, maybe like an input. All right. So... For now, we're gonna learn how to actually interact with buttons, okay? It's very simple stuff. Let's go ahead and create a button on our page. I go in on our component blade file and I'll create a button. And it's gonna be a very ugly button for now, guys. Bear with me. And I click on it, type in, click me. And what I want to happen is when the user clicks on this button, I wanna send an Ajax request to the server, okay? So I'll go ahead and I'll open up our component. And what we can do is first define a function to handle the click event. So we can say public function handle click. And to make sure it is working, I'm just gonna say dump clicked, okay? So right now, if we click this, nothing happens obviously. So in order to send a request to our backend, what we can do is very simple. And in LiveWire, these are called actions. So it's basically a form of event listening. If you guys, for example, in JavaScript, so you, can, you can say wire click or wire colon click and then pass it in your method name that's going to handle this, right? So basically, it's going to be your event handler or click listener. And I'm going to say handle click, which is going to be basically the name of our backend method, right? Our component method. So I'll reload the page and I'll click on this and all of a sudden we get clicked, right? And actually, if you guys are able to see, I'm not sure it's going to be small for some of you guys. The page did not reload. Everything happened dynamically live. Okay, I'll click on it again. As you can see, the page did not reload. And to confirm that, we can actually open up our developer tools. I'll click on inspect and I'll go on network. And I have it on fetch XHR, right? I'll click on this button and you can see there is actually an Ajax request called update, which was submitted by LiveWire. And you can see the initiator was LiveWire.js. And yeah, so, uh, so the way LiveWire works is basically it will send Ajax requests in the background and you no longer need to write any JavaScript. So it's very easy to do just like this, guys. On this episode, I just wanted to sh show you guys how clicks work, how you can handle clicks. And then also show you guys how LiveWire is doing all of these in the background. In the next episode, we're going to go a lot more in depth. This first one was just about installing it. So if you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you get notified of the latest episode. And also liking just the YouTube algorithm likes it so more people are going to see the video. That's all for today. Uh, have a great day. I see you guys on the next episode. Bye.